In this video, I show you how to enable TPM 2.0 on Windows 10 for Windows 11. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do make sure you watch this video so you know the full steps and let's go and get right into this. So here we are on my current Windows 10 computer and I want to quickly show you what it's gonna look like if you need to go and change your TPM. So you want to come to the bottom left of your computer and you want to go and search for something called the PC Health Check. It's going to be available on all pretty much all Windows 10 computers and when you click on it here, if you haven't already installed it, Windows is going to quickly install it. It's a really easy process and it probably takes less than a minute or two. Then once it's gone and loaded, you want to come up to the top where it says Introducing Windows and you want to go and click Check Now. Now what it's going to go and do is it's going to go and check if your computer is eligible for Windows 11. And as you can see, mine currently isn't. It says this PC does not currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. TPM 2.0 must be supported and enabled on this PC. So now let's go and enable this. So all you want to do is close off of this and what you want to do is go and launch your computer settings. So go to the bottom left and go click on start and then go and click on the settings button just here. I'm going to zoom in on this for you guys and then go and click on update and security and then once you're here go and click on windows security just here and on this menu on this left hand side go and click on recovery just like so and then once you're on the recovery page go and look for the advanced startup. So here we are on my phone and all you want to do is go and click on restart now under advanced startup. Now it's saying please wait and all you need to do is just wait for the next process. I do need to go and actually close this. So I'm going to click restart anyway. And then this choose the option menu is going to pop up and all you need to do is go and click on troubleshoot just here. And then you want to go and click on advanced options. And then all you want to do is go and click on UEFI firmware settings, change settings in your PC's UEFI firmware. So you can click on that just like so. And then all you need to do is go and click on restart up here to go and confirm your choice. So now you're going to be on your motherboard and you need to use your arrow keys on your keyboard to move around. So what you want to do is find the settings and then you want to press the enter key to go and select it. And then as you can see, we've got this option for system status, advanced security and save and exit. So you want to move down to security and then go and press enter. Then as you can see, we've got this administrator password option here. We've got trusted computing and chassis intrusion configuration. You want to go and click on trusted computing. So I'm going to go and click on it with the enter key just like so. And as you can see, we've now got this option at the top selected called security device support. And if we go and look on the left hand side, it actually says this enables or disables the TPM function to put the endorsement key for accessing the system. Therefore, because this is disabled, this means my TPM is disabled. So I want to go and enable it. So I'm going to go and press the enter key just like so, and then move down to go and press enable, press the enter key again, and boom, it's now been enabled. So what we're now going to go and do is go and save our changes. So to go and do that, I'm going to go and press the um, S key, the escape key on my keyboard. Then I need to press it again. And then you want to move down to save and exit, just like so. Hit enter. And then you want to go and click save changes and reboot. And I need to go and click yes. So that's the change I've made. I'm going to click yes. And now my PC is now going to go and reboot. And I'll show you what happens once we load again. So my PC is just launched as usual. So I'm going to go and sign in and then get back to my screen. So here we are on the PC Health Check app and let's go and click check now and go and see what it says. And as you can see, it says this PC meets the Windows 11 requirements. So now we can go and get it. And I just wanted to quickly add in when you come to the Windows update settings, it's still going to go and say this PC doesn't currently meet the requirements. It's going to take a little bit of time to refresh, hopefully within a few hours. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.